Hi, it's uh, Kevin LeBates, and today I wanted to talk a bit about Sybil attacks. Um, so, Sybil attacks are named after a, uh, a patient from the 50s or 60s who had multiple personality disorder, which should already give you a clue what they're about. And uh, basically, in a Sybil attack, someone creates multiple identities online and then uses them to attack a system. Uh, for example, in Facebook, you might have a group of activists who create uh, tens or hundreds of thousands of uh, Facebook um, accounts, give them all different names, and then um, uh, use them to put forward political propaganda, uh, making it look like a lot more people hold a particular political opinion than is actually the case. And uh, civil attacks occur in blockchain, uh, particularly in open blockchains, where uh, anybody can create a, uh, a blockchain address. So, for example, on Bitcoin, uh, in fact, you're encouraged to create a new address every time you uh, conduct a transaction. The idea being that you move your Bitcoins from your first address, some of them go to the person you're paying, and the change from the transaction goes to a new address. Uh, and this is to increase the security of the transaction. Um, so one of the problems you have in a uh, blockchain system like uh, Bitcoin, which is open, is that people can create thousands of identities, and that's why proof of work was invented. Because you couldn't uh, use proof of identity uh, in order to secure the blockchain, because um, then everybody would just go and create millions of miners in order to profit from the um, uh, blockchain uh, block rewards. Uh, so it's a problem you face when you try to come up with a new improved consensus system for open permissionless uh, blockchains, in that uh, uh, if you don't get people to expend some kind of effort, say burn energy or already hold coins, those are proof of work and proof of stake, uh, uh, respectively, uh, then uh, you, you have no way of pinpointing who is an individual and who deserves to get a, uh, a stake of the uh, rewards. Um, it's kind of like uh, the rewards uh, for um, mining blocks are a bit like a lottery, and uh, civil attacks means that effectively uh, any party can basically print off as many lottery tickets as they like, and as a result, uh, everybody would just create billions upon billions of uh, accounts in order to increase their chances of winning. Uh, so uh, that's a summary of what a civil attack is, uh, why it's relevant to blockchain, particularly when you're looking at consensus systems, and uh, it's one of the areas that I'm still struggling to try and uh, tighten up the consensus system I've been working on and off uh, about for um, uh, trying to create an open permissionless blockchain that doesn't need proof of work and doesn't uh, basically reward people who have lots of coins already, i.e. Uh, proof of stake. Um, so I hope you thought that was interesting and uh, hope to see you in the next video where maybe it won't be so stormy and cold as it is today. Bye for now.